Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. In this video, we're going to continue talking about the UV Editor tools and commands. You can find the UV Editor in lots of different ways. The way that we're going to do it is by going to the UV menu here in the Modeling menu set, and we have the UV Editor right here. We can also use, over here on the far left, underneath our Move, Scale, Rotate tools, we have our camera presets. You can right-click and choose Perspective slash UV editor right here and when you do that you will get a side-by-side -side camera setup with the UV editor on the right and the perspective view on the left. So today I wanted to talk about pixel snap. Pixel snap can be found in the image menu pixel snap and the reason why I'm skipping to this one is I went over a UV lattice earlier tool UV lattice tool options and here in the options it had snap settings with placement being snap corner or snap center. And what that was referring to was the image pixel snap options, which are placement snap corner or snap center. So it's the same settings here as it is in that tool. And it references this tool. The pixel snap settings in the UV lattice tool options don't actually do anything unless you have image pixel snap checked on. Let me break this menu off like so and I can check it on right here which turns pixel snap on and off. Now you'll notice as I click this on and off there is a toggle icon in the UV editor uh, menu bar up here. This little magnet icon similar to the snapping tools that we use up here for snapping to point and snapping the curve and snapping the grid and so on. We have this little u this little magnet icon for turning pixel snap on and off as a shortcut. So this is pixel snap options snap corner and snap center. I went over this in the UV lattice tool video and in the video I kind of had some confusion as to what pixel snap really did. And the reason why is it is in the image menu which means that there needs to be some kind of image applied to your object but even when I did test that it didn't seem to be doing much. I didn't recognize what was happening. Uh, a very nice viewer named Michael Nova kind of corrected me on this and what was actually happening. I just wasn't zooming in close enough to the pixels of the image I had applied to notice the difference. Uh, so Pixel Snap does deal with pixels of the texture applied to your object. And in that video I didn't really have a texture applied to the object in the example that I gave. So in this video I thought I would just go over Pixel Snap as a video talking more about it and what these two options do for Snap Corner and Snap Center because invariably there are going to be other tools that use these snap settings so I figured I'd get them out of the way with an actual video so when we get to them in the future with other tools like the lattice tool had in its options with snap settings we'll know what that means going forward so let me show my perspective view I'm going to create a polygon plane just like before in our UV lattice video I'm going to hide the grid and this time I'm going to apply a texture to the plane. I do have a video going over like a beginner's guide to texturing so to speak. Feel free to click here to check out that video. It talks about applying materials and textures and so on as well as other things. So I'm going to right click on the plane and choose assign new material and I'll just use a Lambert. The attribute editor over here opens up and it shows Lambert 2 being applied. Lambert 1 is a default Lambert that's in Maya when you start a new scene so when you create a new Lambert it automatically names it Lambert 2. You can rename it here if you'd like to avoid any confusion. For the uh, color attribute I'm going to click this little checkerboard pattern to map a texture file. Within the create render node window I'll choose the file option and here we have the file attributes. The main one I'm looking at is image name. And I'm going to click this little folder so I can browse to an image in my computer and I'll choose this image. This is a 32 pixel by 32 pixel image and it's made up of a black and white grid. I'll hit open and then I'll press the 6 key on my keyboard and it shows the texture on the plane. So with my texture applied I can press the space bar within the UV editor to get uh, the full screen view of the UV editor and I can kind of zoom in here. Now the texture is very blurry right now and that's because if you look in the image menu we have the checkbox for display unfiltered. Right now the image is being very filtered right now which kind of blurs it. If we go to image display unfiltered and check this box then the texture is not filtered anymore which means it's not blurry anymore and it's showing its full 
32 by 32 pixel glory. So it's no longer blurry, so we can see our pixels much more clearly. If I right click here now and choose UVs as my component selection, and let's just choose this UV here in the corner. So under the image menu, I have pixel snap. If I break this menu off here, first I'll uncheck it so you can see the difference. So with pixel snap turned off, I can drag this UV around freely with no issues. It's not snapping to anything. There's no point snapping happening. There's no grid snapping happening. It's just free movement. If I turn pixel snap on, I can click this little magnet icon and go into the pixel snap options here. Again, this is under the image menu, image, pixel snap options. We can edit reset settings and we have two placement settings, snap to the corner or snap to the center. Snap corner, hit apply and close. And now as I move this pixel around, it will snap to the corner pixels of my image. You'll notice it's not snapping to other UVs. The other UVs are not laid out so that they line up with the pixels by any means. It's snapping to the pixels of the 32 by 32 image I have applied to the plane. And right now it's snapping to the corners of the pixel. This is this one, this white block is literally one pixel in my tiny texture. So my UV is snapping to the corners of that uh, pixel on the image. If I go back to pixel snap options and choose snap center and hit apply and close and now I move my UV you'll notice it reacts differently. It's snapping to the centers, the center point of the pixel now and not to the corners of the pixel. So that's literally how pixel snap works. So with pixel snap you can literally move your UV and snap it to be pixel perfect where you want it on your texture, whether it be on the corners of the pixels or snapping to the center of the pixels, you can get it right where you want it to be. And so whenever we see pixel snap going forward in the future, we'll know what that means. Thanks for your patience. Thanks to Michael Nova for assisting me with this information, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>